As he was ascending, he peered into the cage and his blood froze. In the far distance, he had spotted the silhouette of a shark. The shark must have been at least 70 feet in length. Hey, is it possible NASA is hiding a live megalodon from the public? Or is this just another TikTok conspiracy full of TikTok hocus pocus? Hey guys, Bill here. I'm gonna get to that Megalodon story in just a second, but first I wanna say yes, I am back from the Amazon region of Brazil where I had a fantastic time and I now have a new project there uh, which is called Secret Monsters of the Rainforest and it's kind of a pareidolia kind of experiment. You know, when you look at one thing and it looks like another. Well, when I'm driving around in the Amazon, I'm in those boats. I see all sorts of stuff that reminds me of creatures, strange, beautiful, funny, and I'm gonna be sharing some of these with you real soon. So, all right, let's get back to the uh, Megalodon. And, uh, you know, I thought that we had covered every Megalodon story out there possible, you know, in my search to prove there's a live Megalodon in this world, and guess what? We have found a new one. In this case, it comes to us from Shadow Dragon, who wrote, My blood rushed to my feet listening to this video. NASA doesn't want you to know they have the last megalodon. NASA used to conduct sea exploration off the U.S. coast back in the 1970s. They spent a lot of their money creating a large underwater enclosure off the coast of Maryland. This large underwater habitat was called Zone F. They would use it to conduct research on rare and endangered species. All this information was unearthed by sailor and diver George Meyer from Houston. Just earlier this year, on April 17th, George was out on a fishing trip near Maryland. Whilst he was out on the water, a storm had hit him moving his boat farther out to sea. Two hours later, the storm had stopped. George looked down to check his engine, when suddenly he noticed something unordinary. A massive cage underneath his boat. Through the surface of the water, he could see the metal bars of the enclosure. Luckily, that day, he had his diving gear with him. George then promptly suited up and went down to see what he had just discovered. As he got deeper down, he realized the cage was gigantic. As he closely inspected one of the bars, he noticed a small engraving which read, Zone F property of NASA stay out on one of the bars. Not only was the cage very wide, it was also very deep. He could not see the bottom. He wondered if it went to the sea floor. Each of the metal rungs was about two feet apart, large enough for him to pass through. However, George did not dare to go inside the cage. Right before he was about to go up for air, he heard the sound of metal banging loudly just below him. He could not go down much further. He was already 600 feet down. As he was ascending, he peered into the cage and his blood froze. In the far distance, he had spotted the silhouette of a shark. The shark must have been at least 70 feet in length. He was not able to get a good look at the shark and it quickly swam away. George went back up and navigated his way back to shore. Two weeks later, he tried to go back to the cage but could not find it. Well, uh, that's quite a story. So uh, what do you guys think? You think NASA really has this area called Zone F where they're doing research and they might even have a live megalodon down there? Or do you think this is just so full of, uh, how do we say, bull right? Uh, that we're just going to have to call it fake. So I'll tell you what. Go ahead and yell out your answers. If you think there's even a, a Zone F where... NASA does research, okay, go with real. I don't care if there's a megalodon in there or not. But if you think there is a Zone F, and even more, if you think in the Zone F they have a live megalodon, I want you to go with real. On the other hand, if you think there is no Zone F, there is no megalodon, there is no NASA program to do research under the water that's, you know, top secret, go with fake. And thirdly, if you don't think we have a solid smoking gun answer, well then, you know what to do then, right? You just yell out, Unknown. Have you guys heard this story about a sailor that discovered a top secret NASA project in the ocean? Okay, did you get your answer out there? Or uh, if you didn't yell it, did you write it down in the comment section? You can always pause the video and go down there and put your answer down there. Then you come back here and you play this part of the video to see if you're right or not, because here is where you're going to find out whether you're right or not. And let's see what it has to say regarding NASA's secret Zone F and the possible Megalodon alive that's in there. And, uh, well, it's a little complicated, but 
Let me give it to you straight, okay? The Zone F uh, proposition that NASA has had this thing since the 1970s, or they even had it in the 1970s, and they since abandoned it, uh, well, that turns out to be, along with the Megalodon, kind of, uh, yeah, fake. First off, just about every image in this video is fake and has nothing to do with the real story, okay? I mean, not even the guy mentioned in the story. This picture, this has nothing to do with the real guy. No guy exists that I can find. Uh, then there's the... Uh, Zone F issue. Well, there is no Zone F. If you do a search on Zone F, the only thing you're going to find is basically this video. Can you imagine doing a search on Area 51 and you get no results back? I mean, that would be crazy. Well, that's what you get when you search for Zone F. And thirdly, I don't know who wrote this, but obviously they don't do a lot of diving because it said that this diver went down 600 feet. People, you cannot dive as a diver to 600 feet. You can't even dive anywhere close to that. I mean, most submarines can barely get to 600 feet. So that's just, I don't know. You know what all this tells me? This tells me that this story is not just fake. It is. So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. All right, so another Megalodon lead goes down the old fake drainorama. But hey, you know me, right? I never give up hope. I will always continue to look for a real story about a real Megalodon, no matter how many fakes I encounter. So if you run across something think, and you think it might be a good lead for me, please send it to me, Channel at gmail.com. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.